Today, I'm going to go through 10 roulette strategies in 10 minutes. Now, these strategies in no particular order are Number one, the Martingale. This is probably the most well-known betting system for roulette. The Martingale system works by successively doubling your bet on every loss. This way, any single win will instantly cover all of your previous losses and result in a one unit profit. Now, theoretically, if you could keep doubling your bets forever, you could always guarantee a win. And in fact, the chance of losing using the Martingale system is incredibly low. The problem with the Martingale system is that if you do get unlucky, you'll quickly realize just how much you'll lose having to double your bets each time. Most casino roulette tables will also have a max bet in place specifically to prevent people from trying out this system with a huge bankroll and walking away with their winnings. Number two, the Romanovsky. Invented in the mid 20th century by Russian mathematician Igor Romanovsky, the Romanovsky strategy has you placing two three unit bets on two dozens and then on the uncovered dozen placing two one unit corner bets. This covers a total of 32 numbers and gives you about an 86% chance of winning one unit of profit. This strategy is an exceptionally safe bet with its high table coverage. In order to profit from this strategy though, eight wins are required in order to offset a single loss. With an 86% chance of winning, you can expect to lose about every one in seven spins. And so, unless you manage to get lucky and avoid your uncovered numbers, your losses will quickly start to outweigh the profits. Some success can be found if the bet is increased after every loss, but due to the high number of chips required to start this strategy, you can quickly find yourself running out of your bankroll. Number three, Golden Entry. The Golden Entry is a strategy that's based off the Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence is a ratio that's found in many places within nature. It's found in things like the appearance of petals on flowers to the way that the arms of our Milky Way galaxy curve. This sequence goes 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, etc. Where the last two numbers are added together in order to get the next number in the sequence. By following this betting pattern, by incrementing after every loss, and placing your bets on one of the three dozens, you can always ensure that any win will instantly win you back all of your losses. Additionally, since we're only adding the last two numbers together rather than doubling each time, you'll be able to afford more losing spins before running out of your bankroll rather than if you were using the Martingale system. Betting on a dozen instead of an even money bet does mean that this system is far more likely to encounter a losing streak. Some people claim you can help prevent this by waiting until you see three spins where the dozen of choice hasn't been landed on. However, due to the random nature of the game and the independence of each spin, this strategy is usually not very effective. Number four, triple entry max climax. This strategy was rated number one by the popular YouTube channel CEG Dealer School. And it's a system that has multiple different betting patterns depending on the outcome of your previous bets. To begin, start by placing a five unit bet on three of the even money bets. So for example, one on black, odd and high. Now, if one of these even money bets hits, you move the winnings to a single dozen and bet again. Similarly, if two of your even money bets win, then you're going to place two dozen bets, one with each of the winnings of the previous even money bet. If all three of your original bets hit, or if one of your dozens win after you've placed your bet on them, then the last step is to place 10 three unit bets on 10 different numbers of your choice. If any of these numbers hit, then you instantly walk away with a profit of 93 units. Alternatively, one variation of this strategy is to place 15 two unit bets instead of 10 three unit bets. This way you're much more likely to win a profit of 57 units instead. Number five, the Labouchere. This strategy was invented by British politician Henry Labouchere in the 19th century. This strategy revolves around the idea that even money bets should win about 50% of the time. In order to start, we first begin by writing down our goal profit amount. So if our goal profit was 20 units, we could write down our list like this with four fives. To work out our first bet, we take the first and last numbers on our list and add them together. This is how much we're going to place on an even money bet. If we lose, we're going to take this bet amount and then we add it to the end of our list. But if we win, then we cross out the two numbers that we used. In theory, if we win about half the time and we're removing two numbers from our list and lose the other half but only adding one number, then eventually we should get to a point where there are no numbers left on our list. That's when we know we've earned our goal profit and can walk away. 
Number six, the nine street shuffle. The nine street shuffle was a strategy originally sent to me by one of my viewers. This strategy has you placing a three unit bet on the first and last double street. You then place three two unit corner bets on the eight, 12, 18, 20, and 26, 30 corners. Finally, you place three one unit split bets on 10, 13, 18, 21, and 22, 25 splits. All up, this gives you a total coverage of 30 numbers for a total of six wax on a European wheel or seven wax on an American wheel. With this strategy, you're betting a total of 15 units with the potential of a two unit profit every time the ball lands on one of your 30 numbers. Unlike a typical nine street strategy, this one has you splitting up your bets in order to achieve a more scattered coverage of the board, which in my experience tends to perform a bit better than the typical nine street strategy. Number seven, the double dozens. The double dozen strategy is a strategy that has you betting on exactly what it sounds like, two lots of dozen bets. By placing two one unit bets on the two dozen bets, as well as two one unit bets on the rows, you end up covering a total of 32 numbers. With this strategy, there are three possible outcomes. The first outcome is that you manage to hit one of the 16 numbers that are in both of the row and the dozen that you bet on. In this scenario, you end up with a profit of two units. If you win either just the row bet or just the dozen bet, then you'll end up losing only one unit. And if you manage to hit one of the numbers you haven't covered, then you'll lose a total of four units. While a strategy like this has potential to help you offset the chances of incurring a large single loss, it'll also incur more losses because of it. While this play style is preferred by some players, personally I prefer a strategy with a much higher risk versus reward trade-off. Number 8, the Magic 7. This is a strategy invented by yours truly that has the potential to turn $10 into $240 in just 5 steps. The first step is to place a 2 unit bet on the high even money bet. Provided this wins, we then place a four unit bet on high again. Usually we can expect to win these two bets in a row about one fourth of the time. After this wins, we're going to take the eight unit profit and place three units on the first dozen and five units on high. If we hit the first dozen, we'll repeat the bet again in order to win two units of profit. If we hit the high bet, then we'll manage to earn two units of profit in one spin. Now we increase the bet so that there's four units on the first dozen and six units on high. If we've managed to win every bet thus far, then the last step is to place our bets on our magic seven numbers. We place one unit on zero and one on the 13 to 18 double street, four units on the second dozen and six units on low. Now, if any of the numbers within the lower two dozens hit, then we will win enough to rebet. But if the 13 to 18 double street hits, we'll win a total profit of 17 units and if the zero hits, then we win a profit of 23 units. Number nine, the dual criteria system. The dual criteria system relies on looking at the last two numbers in order to decide where to place your next bet. For any number on the roulette table, it'll always have one of three properties. It'll either be red or black, high or low, and either odd or even. By looking at the sequence of the last two numbers, we can notice any commonalities forming within these numbers and then use this information to either bet with or against this trend. For example, if the last two spins were 22 and 12, then we would notice that one is black and the other is red, one is high, the other is low, but both of these numbers are even. Using this information, I could decide to bet against these trends and as such, I would place my bet on odd for the next spin. While you would think that if you saw two evens in a row, the next result would be an odd, this is a typical misunderstanding known as the gambler's fallacy. Even if you saw red land a hundred times in a row, the chance of the next spin landing on a black is still about 50-50. The independent nature of the roulette spins means that no previous result will affect the next one. But in general, if you observe it for a long enough time, then general trend will begin to form. Number 10, the holy grail. The final strategy I have for you guys is known as the holy grail strategy. In this strategy, you first begin by watching the wheel and then writing down a list of every number that you see come up. Once you have a list that is 18 numbers long, you start by placing a one unit bet on each number. If at any point one of the numbers on your list is hit, then we're going to mark it with an underline. If the number comes up that isn't on your list, then we're going to look back through the list 
Find the first number that isn't underlined, cross it out and place the new number at the end of our list. With this strategy, you should end up with a list of numbers that have hit more frequently than the other numbers. The idea here is that if there's some defect or imperfection within the wheel that makes certain numbers more likely than others, then this system will catch it and hopefully help you to profit from it. And that's 10 roulette strategies in 10 minutes. Hopefully I covered a strategy that you haven't heard before. If you have a strategy that you use that wasn't included on the list, be sure to leave a comment down below and who knows, maybe I'll make a part two of this video. I wanna thank you guys for watching and good luck out there.